I'm live. We are telling your followers that you've started a live video. Cool. Thanks, Instagram. Oh, people are here. Yay. Hi, guys. Hi. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello. It's been a minute since I've done one of these lives. Um, and I'm just so excited to be here and to be talking to you guys. It's really been a long time. <laughs> How is everybody? How are you guys doing? The main reason uh, why I wanted to come on here is because it's A, been way too long, and B, I have a new song that is out right now. It's called Too Fucking Nice. Um, and you can stream it now. It's available everywhere. I'm super excited about it. And I also just want to thank you guys for all the support that you have shown the song so far. Um, it really means a lot to me, more than I can tell you. So thank you so much for streaming the song thus far. Please continue to stream. And yeah, kisses from Israel. Hi. So many kisses back to you. How are you guys doing? I feel like such a noob to these things because I haven't done this in ages. I think the last time I did a live was when I was in South Africa, uh, when I was in quarantine before I filmed the last movie I did for Netflix called Afterlife of the Party, which should be coming out later this year, uh, which I'm very excited about. But yeah, I was, I was drinking a little wine and doing a live in South Africa, which you know, I get you don't get to say every day, I guess. That was pretty cool. And by the way, for those of you who like to travel, if you ever get the chance, please go visit South Africa. Go visit Cape Town. I technically was staying in Stellenbosch, which is wine country and it's like 15, 20 minutes outside of Cape Town. And it was so beautiful. I stayed at the Spear Hotel, which is one of my favorite places on earth now. The entire staff, everyone that worked there was so sweet and amazing. And it was such a unique filming experience because we were all living in a bubble together because of COVID. Um, we had to get COVID, test, COVID tested like, I think it was like three times a week, um, the whole nasal thing, which like every time they did it, my eyes would water, it was so weird. Um, but yeah, it was just such a unique experience, like having the entire cast and crew living together at this hotel in South Africa. So we really got so much time to get to know each other and to really hang out and bond more so than you usually would, because, you know, people will go to set and then they leave, and they go back to their houses and, you know, you don't really hang out as much and you, you're living your own separate lives. But we were full on like in this bubble together every day. Um, so it was really unique and Cape Town is just so gorgeous and the people there are so friendly and kind and they just like I feel like they Like South Africans get what life is about and They're just they love to have fun and it was just beautiful and the ocean and the mountains and um, I remember like seeing Table Mountain a couple times when we were filming on location and it was just so surreal and beautiful so please go to South Africa. I feel like this is an ad, like a travel, the, the travel agency should pay me to, <laughs> to promote South Africa, but truly it was, it was beautiful. Um, guys, this is so fun. Do you guys have any questions for me or anything? I'm trying to like, what's up? Hi from Kazakhstan. That is so awesome. This is, this is what I love about these things. It's so cool to be able to connect with you guys and with people who are all over the world from Kazakhstan to Israel to, you know, wherever. And it's so cool. And, um, yeah, I'm just, oh, someone said, Helen Griffiths, I love your new song so much. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you like it. I love this song too. It, it's one of my favorites that I've put out. Um, just because I feel like it has, it's like, it has like such a chill, cool summer vibe. I feel like the, one of the best ways to listen to Too Fucking Nice is to like get in your car and if you like live by the water or something, or you don't have to live by the water, but like I just picture like being in a convertible, rolling your windows down and like blasting this song and I feel like that would feel really good and I'm planning on doing that soon. Even though it's my own song, I know it's like weird, but I'm, I'm really proud of the song and I, I really do like it. So I'm glad that you guys are liking it too. Um, hi from Dallas, hello. 
Hi, everybody. Okay, let's see. Do you, hi from Spain, Espanol, hola. Mwah. I love Spain. I went to Madrid years ago and it was, it was such a quick trip, but it was so beautiful and I love the food. I remember having olive oil and bread there and, um, and prosciutto on the bread and it was so good. Like the olive oil, olive oil was amazing. I'm such a foodie, guys. Can you tell? I love food so much. It's one of my greatest passions in life. Um, hey, I'm Ohio from Ohio, from Spain to Ohio. I love it. Hi, Ohio. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Do you guys have any questions for me or anything else we can talk about? Any, any burning questions you've been wanting to ask me? Now's the time. Do it. Do it. Um... Let's see, what else can we... Venezuela! Hi to all my Venezuelan peeps. Mwah! Love you guys. Wisconsin, I see you Wisconsin. Wisconsin in the house. <laughs> Hi from Honduras, this is amazing. Hi from London. Oh, my friend Rule is on here. Any future songs coming out anytime soon? That's a great question. Um, I do have another song that I really love, and it's very different from the other songs that I've put out. Um, it's like much more dancey, which is cool. Uh, and I think I'm probably gonna release it this summer. I'm not exactly sure when yet, but I'm also very excited just to get in the studio again. And now that things are really starting to open up more, I feel like more people are willing to get in the room together and write which is awesome. So I'm, that's what I'm really excited about because I feel like I have a lot of material and a lot of things that I want to say and a lot of new sounds that I want to try and just, I'm just excited to be creative and to be making more music because um, I love music. It makes me happy. So yeah, soon. There definitely will be more music soon. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Will there be an album? That's the goal. That's the goal, my friends. We're working on it. So here's the thing. I have to be real with you guys. So like I am currently an independent artist, which is great. I love it. Um, I love it because I have so much more creative control than I would have if I was with a label, etc. There are pros and cons to doing both, you know? Um, but at the end of the day, I... I, being independent, like I need your guys' support. So, and you've been so supportive. So like, tell your friends, tell your mailman, tell your doctor, uh, tell, tell anyone that will listen to go stream my song. Um, yeah, it's just lovely to have the support, especially doing it independently. So thank you guys so much. All right, let's talk about what we're watching nowadays. So I'm gonna tell you, a show that I have been obsessed with recently. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, but it's called Mayor of Easttown. It's with Kate Winslet. And I believe it's on, I think it's on HBO. And it is so good, you guys. A friend recommended the show to me and I love it. It's incredible. Kate Winslet is, every time I watch her, every scene, I'm just like, oh, you're so good. She's brilliant. And Evan Peters as well. I am such a huge fan of his now. I hadn't really seen, I'd seen like a couple things that he had done. I saw this movie he did where like him and his friends like stole some piece of art or something. I forgot what it was called. I think it was called Animal or something. And I thought he was great in that movie as well. And I really enjoyed that movie. But um, I never really watched American Horror Story, but he is so good in the show too. And the show is just, it's so good. The acting is great. It's like, it's a this murder mystery and it's and it's super realistic too i feel like you, you, no one there's not one moment where you feel like you're watching people act it just feels so real which is like what i love and uh, one of my favorite things to watch so you guys don't get, tell me any spoilers do not tell me any spoilers <laughs> i'm being serious i'm watching the finale tonight so don't tell me if you've seen it but if you haven't seen it watch that show and also if you have any recommendations for other uh, other shows that I should watch, please let me know. 
because someone said American Horror Story is worth trying out since every season is different. That's true. I do need to watch that show. I've heard great things about it. People love it. So I got to check it out. Hi from Portugal. Ooh, who's your favorite actor or actress? That is so hard because there are so many. But I mean, like Kate Winslet right now is like in the top spot. She's incredible. And then of course, always like Meryl Streep and Julianne Moore and Natalie Portman and um, the greats. And like, you know, Robert De Niro and whatnot. I love him. Um, do, 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 do. If you were stranded on a desert island with a group of people, what skills do you have that would help the situation? Oh, that's a great question. Um, what skills do I have that would help the situation? I mean, I feel like I'm a pretty good like mediator. So I feel like if things got crazy on the island and people like wanted to kill each other and like we were just like all going nuts, I feel like I would be pretty decent at talking people down and and letting them know like, no guys, like we need to stick together. If we want to get through this, we have to work together. We need each other. So yeah, that is what I would do. Let's see. Do, 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 do. The finale is a big plot twist. I know, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. I'm so excited to watch it tonight. Um, someone said you should make a Twitch account and do a real life stream on there. I don't know exactly how that works or what Twitch is. I feel like it's like a gaming thing, right? I'm not necessarily a gamer per se, but I'll look into it for you, my friend. Um, oh, Euphoria. Yeah, I watched a couple episodes of that, um, of the first season and I loved it. I thought it was, it was shot so beautifully and really cool. So I have to go back and finish that one. Um... Let's see, community, I've heard that's great. Let's, oh, Queen's Gambit was so good. I love the Queen's Gambit. Didn't that just make you want to learn how to play chess? It made me want to get a chess board and become a great chess player. I, I love that show, it was great. Mm. Let's see, what else can we talk about? Um, I'm watching. What is your height? I'm 5'6". Average height, I guess. <laughs> uh, how did I find lockdown? It was interesting. You know, to be honest, I I kind of loved it in a way. I thought it was, I thought it was so nice that the world was forced to slow down and that everyone was in this predicament together. Obviously, it was, there were terrible things happening and it was very scary time as well. Um, but I will say like, it was really nice to be able to slow down and to be able to take the time to like spend time with my family and, um, and do some reading, which was good and, and some cooking, like things that I normally would just like brush off to the side and not make a priority. I was kind of like, okay, well, I think I can like, you know, try to domesticate myself a little bit and learn how to cook, cook an omelet. I, um, I perfected this omelet that I love. It's like onions and mushrooms and spinach. And I even have like the like a fancy egg beater that like I plug into the thing and it like whisks the whole thing and so the eggs are soft and fluffy. So I perfected a great omelet. Um, and yeah, and then it was also cool because I was able to, I released music, I released my first single that I had released in seven years, Treat Myself, and I filmed a music video for that. It was crazy. 2020 somehow ended up being a really productive year for me. Um, I did two movies. I did a movie called Trust that is available everywhere, video on demand, wherever you can buy movies, um, which is like a relationship drama. It's, it's, it's something different for me than what I've normally done. I play a wife, which is new. So that was fun. Um, opposite Matthew Daddario, who was in another movie with me called Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List. Uh, shout out to Matt, he's great. And yeah, so you guys should check that out if you haven't seen it, it was really fun. And I'm really proud of the way it turned out. It takes place in New York City, in like the art world. Um, it's shot really beautifully and there's some really cool locations. So it was fun. But like, I think overall, I, I think I overall enjoyed lockdown. I think there are definitely moments where I was going a bit stir crazy and, you know, the same routine every day and seeing the same walls every day could be kind of like, ah, gotta, gotta mix this up. But then I was also very lucky because I went to South Africa to do a movie for Netflix called Afterlife of the Party. 
So, it was a trip. It was a trip. But I hope, I hope you guys are all happy and safe and healthy and yeah. It's a crazy time, man. Best friend's brother, thanks. I actually wrote best friend's brother. I don't know if, how many of you guys know that, but um, my best friend at the time, her brother, was actually like in a band and a drummer and uh so i based the song off of him and uh yeah just kind of came out it was fun let's see do, 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 do. do you have any favorite artists that you look up to um yeah definitely sarah Bareilles is one of my all-time favorite singer songwriters uh her album little voice is one of my favorites it's so good um and then she also wrote this musical waitress, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but it is brilliant. She wrote all the music. It's insane. I look at her and I'm like, how? How can someone be this talented? It's crazy. Um, and she has a song called She Used To Be Mine, which sometimes when I sing it, it just, it makes me cry. It's so beautiful. Uh, so I love her. I'm a, I'm a big Julia Michaels fan. I love Julia. I love her writing. Um, her latest album is super good. And I just love how honest she is. And and vulnerable and raw and those are honestly my favorite kind of artists those are the artists that i look up to and people that are great storytellers and you know you feel like they're just talking to you um and they have that vulnerability i also feel that way about sasha sloan she's one of my favorites um yeah i think olivia rodrigo is killing it right now um her album is so good so those are some people I'm really loving right now. Do 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 do. Mm. <laughs> Ozark on Netflix, yeah. I want to watch that. I've heard so many good things about that. I have to do that next. Thanks for reminding me. Um, Castellani, what's up? Do 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 do. Any tattoos or piercings? Um, I don't have any tattoos. No, zero, zero tattoos. It's not that I'm opposed to the idea of getting a tattoo. I guess there just hasn't been anything thus far where I'm like, yes, I need that forever. And also I think just like being an actor, it kind of makes things more complicated sometimes when makeup artists have to like cover tattoos up and whatnot. But I think maybe one day I'll get one. I'm just not sure when or what. It's never been like, you know, high on the priority list, I guess. Uh, and I just have, I have two ear piercings here, but I want more. I love piercings. Okay. Um, doo -doo. Did I like acting in the movie Trust? Yes, I loved acting in Trust. It was really fun. I was working with people that I really enjoyed hanging out with, Matt and Kat McNamara and Lucienne and Lindsay Broad and uh, Ronnie and our director, uh, Brian DeCubulis was so cool and so sweet. It's just always a pleasure to work with people that are nice people, you know, it just makes the experience so much better and you, yeah. So it was great. And also like, I love New York City so much. It's one of my favorite cities in the world. I feel so alive every time I'm there. It's just like the grittiness, the energy. It's, it, you can't match it. It's just a special magical place. So if I was gonna film anywhere else besides LA, which is obviously like ideal for me, um, New York is, is where I wanna go. So that was a dream. And then it also took place in the art world and just, it was great. It was awesome. I loved it. Did I watch the Friends re reunion? I did not watch the friend, Friends reunion. You know, I never, I haven't really watched that many episodes of Friends. I know this is probably like sacrilege to, to say. Um, but I heard that like a lot of people were disappointed because they thought that it was gonna be an actual episode. And it turned out to just be like a reunion of them like talking about the show, which is awesome. But I don't know, to be honest, I wasn't that invested because I've never, I, I'm not like a huge Friends fan, but anyway. Um, what inspires me to create music? Honestly, anything. Sometimes like I, I have so many things written down in my notes of like lyric ideas that I'll come up with or song titles that'll just pop into my head or I'll hear someone say something or a phrase and I'm like, ooh, that would be a really cool song. Um, and sometimes it's it's my own personal life and something that I've experienced that I wanna write about. Um, and sometimes it's something that, you know, 
my sister is going through or like a friend of mine is going through that I'm like, I, I want to write about that. So it can literally be anything and come from anywhere. And that's, that's the coolest thing about making music is that there's no rules, you know, you just can express yourself however you want and say whatever you want to say. And that has always been super empowering for me. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing it more. Chris Massey! Hi, Chris. I love you. I miss you. It's been too long, my friend. Where are you in the world? Let's hang out. Come over. Um, Chris Massey and I did Zoe 101 together, for those of you who don't know. And he's awesome. And has the cutest kids. By the way, how cool is this drink? They're not paying me, I swear to God. <laughs> I just got it the other day because I really liked the way the can looked and it and the flavor, watermelon kiwi, like yum, so good. Um, it is really good. Let's see. <laughs> uh, I think next time I do this, I definitely want to do the thing where I can request people and bring them into the chat. So next time we're definitely gonna do that because I don't exactly know how to do that right now. And I feel, and I don't wanna be that person where you're like watching them and I'm like, oh, uh, how can, oh, hello. Like, oh, how do I do this? You know what I mean? Like, I just like, I don't wanna do that to you guys. So we're gonna figure out next time and we'll do that. Um, let's see. <laughs> Someone's saying eyebrow wave, eyebrow wave. I'm a little rusty, guys. I haven't done the eyebrow wave in ages. So I have like weird control over my eyebrows. Can you see? They need to be warmed up. They're, they were too put on the spot right now. I gotta warm them up, but they're still, they're still going. They're still waving. They're still doing their thing. Um, let's see. What the heck? I'll have you banging on your knees for me. That was for the person that just requested that I do that. You know who you are. That was for you. <laughs> um, have you ever dyed your hair? You know, I recently highlighted it when I was in South Africa because I wanted to change. I've had like dark hair for so long. Sometimes I'm like, I just want to dye my hair blue or pink or something. I do something so totally different, but then it'll damage my hair and I like having healthy hair. I don't know. It's a whole thing. But I've never, I've never really full on dyed it though. I've only hide it, highlighted it like twice in my life. Um, let me see, let me scroll down. <laughs> Chris, I love you. You're so sweet. Um, happy birthday, River. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to River. Happy birthday to you, woo. Hope you have a great day. Um, let's see, any other questions? Have I been to Arizona? I have been to Arizona, but I actually really, um, I wanna visit Sedona. I am all about, like I love spirituality and energy and all that like funky new age stuff. I'm totally into like meditation and mindfulness and you know, crystals sometimes, all that stuff, I think is super fascinating and cool. And I've always wanted to go to Sedona because there's apparently like an energy vortex there or something that's supposed to be crazy and you feel it when you're there. And it just seems like a really cool place to kind of go and get away from everything and like reconnect with yourself, which is like one of my favorite things to do and something I probably need to do. Um, and I also really love this song by one of my favorite rappers currently. His name's Coda the Friend. He's sick. You guys need to check him out. He's like one of the few rappers that has a voice that I can like relate to. Um, I feel like, like he raps about like meditating sometimes and like cool stuff. And I'm like, I vibe with you, man. Like, I feel like we would get along and we could hang out. Um, so I really like him. You, sh you should check him out. Code of the Friend. He's great. Sedona. And he also has a song called Hollywood that I love. Really good. Great writer. Um, <laughs> these comments are funny. Do, you, um, do I have a favorite song? I'm trying to think of what my favorite song is right now. I mean, oh, what's my favorite song right now? To be honest, I've been loving Enough For You by Olivia Rodrigo. 
I love that song. I think it's so beautiful. She is such a great storyteller and I love the way she writes and it's so simple, but so effective. And the melodies are gorgeous. I really love that song. She really nailed it with that one. Thanks, someone said they love my necklace. Thank you, who said that? Thanks, Mr. Pepe007. <laughs> um, I actually got this at a flea market here in LA, Melrose and Fairfax flea market. And I actually got this little ring that I'm wearing there too. It has these cool symbols on it. Um, but yeah, thank you. Yin and Yang is my favorite symbol. It just really speaks to me as a person. I, uh, I just really love it. Oh, Tatiana, my girl, Tatiana. Who's your favorite member of NSYNC? Well, that's a tough one. I might have to say Lance Bass, guys. You guys, when I was, I actually saw Lance Bass last night because I went to this event for a race to a race MS and he was there and he was speaking. And it was just so funny because I just remember I had like a Lance Bass ring that I would wear like in elementary school. I loved Lance Bass. And uh, just to be full circle here in LA now and everything. And I've actually met Lance before and he's super, super sweet and cool. I think I told him that I had his face on a ring and I like even wore it as a teenager. I'm not sure how he felt about that. <laughs> um, do you speak a little bit of German? Nine. Although, wait, ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. That means I love you, I think. I think I said it right. Um, hi, guys. Sorry, I'm trying not to make this thing awkward for you guys. I want to keep it interesting, but it's kind of hard when it's like just me here, you know? Um, are you interested in doing concerts again? Yeah, I definitely am. I haven't performed in so long, you guys. And now that I have some new music out and the world is starting to open up again, I would definitely, I would definitely love to do some shows. We'll see, we'll see. I gotta make more music. I gotta put more stuff out. But yeah, I miss performing. I love it. I really love it. There's nothing like the energy you get from the crowd and looking out and seeing people like sing along to songs that you've written and, it's a pretty insane experience to know like music just connects people and it brings us all together and it's uh one of the most beautiful things that we got i think music makes the world go around let's see uh do i know any words in portuguese um de queijo. it's like cheese bread right <laughs> i don't know i don't know that much hi from greece um Hi guys. Do you have any other questions or anything else we should talk about? Let's see. Um, oh, I have a good movie recommendation for you guys. So it's a movie called The Sound of Metal. It's with Riz Ahmed, who is also, earlier when I mentioned favorite actors, actresses, I didn't say him, but I should have because he is incredible. I love Riz Ahmed. He also did the series for HBO also that uh, was called The Night Of a while back, which was brilliant with John Turturro, uh, also an incredible actor. But The Sound of Metal is incredible. You guys, watch this movie. It's beautiful. It, it touched me, like, deeply. It's one of those movies that, like, you finish it and you're... You just... It makes you think. It makes you think about things. It puts life into perspective. And um, it's just, it's brilliantly done. It was a great film. So definitely check that one out. Yeah. Um, do I prefer music or acting? That's such a tough question. I don't know. I like, I love them both for different reasons. You know, music is cool because I'm able to, I just, I love music so much. I, I've always been a huge music fan and I get to tell my own stories. You know, I'm like in a bit more of, I have a bit more of a creative control and it's me expressing myself and I get to be me. Whereas when I'm acting, it's, it's cool. I, I get to tell other people's stories, which is also really interesting. And I get to kind of step outside of myself and my life and, and be someone else for a little bit, which can be really fun. Um, so I think they're both fulfilling in, in different ways. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, guys, okay. What was I gonna say? Okay, so 
I don't know if you want to do it like while I'm doing this this IG live or whatever after, but if you guys could keep streaming Too Fucking Nice, my new song, um, it would mean so much to me. So I don't know if you should do it now or after, but I have this app, okay? It's a Spotify for Artists app, and I can see how many people are streaming the song at like whatever given time in the day. So it would be so cool, like after this, you guys could all stream the song and I could be see like how many people are streaming the song and it would be awesome. And I basically just wanna say like, thank you guys so much for all the support that you've shown me and shown my song. And um, it just means so much to me. And, and thank you for spreading the word and uh, yeah, I love you guys, so keep streaming the song. I have a movie coming out later this year that I'm really excited about, and then something else in the works that I can't give all the details on yet, but, that was my coaster. <laughs> um, but I'm also very excited about that, so more info coming soon. Yeah, guys, I'm, uh, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for music movies, stuff happening. I think maybe I'll just answer like one or two more questions. I don't wanna bore you guys. <laughs> um, let's see, do you guys have any other questions you wanna ask me? Anything, anything? Do, 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 do. I love you guys. Thank you for all the love and all the sweet messages. It means a lot to me. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. Crazy Jeremy. Let's see. Should we do like a fun filter? What can I do? I don't know. I didn't. Wait, what is happening? Oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of distracting now. Oh, this one's fun. Okay. Um... Someone said, tell us your experience with paparazzi. Um, for the most part, it's been, it's been all right. <laughs> but there have definitely been times where I'm walking around in my neighborhood, walking my dogs in sweatpants, and no makeup on or whatever, just having a private moment. And then, you know, the next day, seeing that like there are pictures of me like in my private neighborhood. Uh, so that's like never fun, you know, because then you it makes you paranoid and you're always like, oh, is there someone like hi? And that's the thing. They're stealth. They're so stealth. Oh, my God. Like they will hide in their car from like far away and they have these lenses that can get you from so far away. So you don't even you can't even see them. You have no idea that they're there. It's kind of creepy. Um, but I don't know. I guess it is what it is sometimes. Uh... Hi, Jocelyn. Um. Hmm. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Hi. Hola to Carlos in Costa Rica. What's up? That's awesome. I want to go to Costa Rica. Heard it's beautiful. All right, guys. I mean, I guess, ooh, someone said, how can we spread more positivity in the world and those around us? That's a great question. How can we spread more positivity in the world and those around us? Well, I think like by little simple things, you know, like little things like complimenting someone, like I'm gonna compliment someone when I go out today and not like a fake compliment. You know, it, it should be something that you genuinely feel. But I feel like we forget sometimes how much, like, a, sm a genuine smile to a stranger or a, a genuine compliment to a stranger um, can really make someone's day. So I feel like little things like that are so important to do. Just spreading tiny little acts of kindness whenever we can. I'm a firm believer in that. Um, and I also think like, you know, happiness comes, it starts with you. And that's why I think things like, I love like self-help books and I love like meditation, like I was talking about in mindfulness. And I feel like when you work on yourself and you do things like meditate, um, 
and do things to make sure that your cup is full first, right? Then you, then you can be happy and you can, you can give that happiness to the world, but it, it starts with you. So you got to take care of yourself first and then you can, and then you can take care of other people. But, um, yeah. Maddie, I love you so much. My sister is on here. Guys, go follow my sister at the Mad Grace. She's the best, cutest, most fun girl ever. Best sister in the world. I love her so much. I don't know what I would do without her. You guys, having a sister is the best thing ever. I don't know what I would do if I was an only child. Honestly, I, I would be so bored. And just like, I feel like I have a built-in best friend, which is the coolest thing ever. And my sister's so fun and cool. And she has great taste in music too. So she's always like introducing me to like cool new songs that I didn't know of. Um, and it's just, it's just the best. So if you have a sibling, like give them a hug today, tell them you love them, show them some love um, because it's such a gift to have a sibling. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But I'm sure there are benefits to being an only child as well. Um, follow at the mad grace. That's right. I love you. Do you guys have any cool, like before I go, like song recommendations? or any artists that you're loving right now? I would love to know. I love, I love music, obviously. So I love discovering new music. I'm also really, for all my other Julia Michaels fans out there, I also am loving um, her song Pessimist off of her album. That's one of my favorites. It's super good. She's such a good writer. It's insane. So insane. Um. Thanks, guys. Oh, someone said the kid, the Leroy kid, Kid Leroy, I guess. Okay, yeah, cool. I'll check him out. Oh, I have to sneeze. I lost it. I lost it. <laughs> oh my gosh, someone said I love Taylor Swift and Melanie Martinez. I also enjoy Queen music. I love all of those artists as well. So good. Taylor Swift had some great songs on folklore, like Invisible String. I love that song. It's so pretty. It speaks to me. And Melanie Martinez is one of my favorite artists as well. I love her so much. Um. <laughs> oh, and also just like a fun song. I love Kiss Me More by Doja Cat and SZA. That's such a fun one. Can you kiss me more? Do, 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 do. Uh, who do you want to collaborate musically with? Um, so many people. I'd love to collaborate with Julia. I'd love to collaborate with Sarah Bareilles. I'd love to collaborate with Chris Martin from Coldplay. I'm a huge Coldplay fan. Oh, Chris Martin is everything. I love him so much. He's so, he's just like one of the best frontmans that has ever lived, I think. He just has like oozes charisma. And like when you see him in interviews and talk to people, he seems so grounded and down to earth. And you just like want to be his best friend. I love him. He's so good. So cool. Just effortlessly cool. And when he's on stage, he doesn't give a shit. Like he doesn't care. He's just like himself. And he's like flailing around and just feeling the music. And I love that so much. Um, okay. Any other recommendations? Viva La Vida is a great song. I covered that on tour once. It was really fun. It's like such an epic song. Batch! Hi, dude. How are you? Good to see you. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, we have to hang out soon, please. Now that the world is opening up, it's like crazy. I feel like all of a sudden things are like really happening. There's been so much going on. This past weekend was so insane and busy for me because my song came out and then it was my sister's birthday the same day that my song came out um oh i love Billie eilish as well my future is one of my favorite songs ever it's so good so good her and phineas what the like how he is so talented both of them together are just such a force to be reckoned with it's it's insane um <laughs> Maddie goes, people are probably wondering who the guys are behind me. Yeah, so funny story about these. These are actually somewhat like life-size figures of the Rolling Stones. 
<laughs> my dad <laughs> is in the car business and years ago he was like i'm getting you i'm getting you a really big present he was like i'm gonna need you to like make sure that you're home at this time and i was like okay dad i was like oh my god he's getting me a car he's getting me a car i was like dad can i um he's like it's a it's it's a big one so be ready i was like okay i was like dad can i have a hint like what are you getting me he was like yeah i'll give you a hint rolling and i was like oh my god wheels on a car they roll i'm getting a car <laughs> And then these huge crates show up and I'm opening them and I'm pulling out all the stuffing and I see this dude right here with his silver hair and I'm like, what the hell is this? What is going on? And then once like I saw, I think I opened like Keith Richards next and I was like, it's the Rolling Stones. And it's the weirdest gift ever. And I one day I actually have to show you guys these things up close because they're made of wax and they're so lifelike. And they all their hairs are individually placed. Like they have stubble. They have like their eyebrows are all individually placed. Like their Mick Jagger's tongue is out. He has this big rubbery tongue. It's so nuts, but it's so cool. And honestly, I'm so thankful to my dad for getting me these weird <laughs> wax figures more than a car because they're so kitschy and cool and that like is so me and and they're like invaluable i love them i mean like so everyone has a car but does everyone have life size wax figures of the rolling stones i don't think so i don't think so uh so that was my little story time all right guys i think i should probably wrap it up now I'll let you guys get back to your day thank you <clears throat> so much for tuning in and coming and hang out with me. I appreciate it so much. We really have to do these more. Like I said, next time I want to bring some of you guys in so I can talk to, to you guys, the people that have been here for me, been supporting me. Um, and I'd just love to like see your cute faces and, and catch up for a sec. But thank you guys for joining. Don't forget, do me a favor during this live or once I end this live, go on Spotify, go on wherever you can stream music and stream my brand new song, Too Fucking Nice. It's the anthem for all my people pleasers out there. I feel like you'll definitely relate to this song. So go check it out. Tell your friends. Tell everyone that you can spread the word about my song. It means so much to me. Um, you guys are the best. I love you so much. Thank you for the support. Go stream too fucking nice. We should have like a listening party soon and like jam out to it and some other cool music. All right. I love you guys. Mwah. Have a great day. Peace.